but sometimes they expose me to music I wouldn't otherwise hear. That's also true with karaoke. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I guess that's the Simpson couch gate now for the regular scheduled jokes. Uh, sometimes uh, things are a real adventure for me when I search for things. I like the challenge of uh, finding things. And uh, over the weekend, that meant uh, I ended up buying more boxes of cereal than I was expecting to. And I know some of you have heard this one because it became a Facebook posting. Uh, I uh, remember seeing Space Jam cereal at, at hy -Vee and I. Uh, Figured it'd be there a week later uh, for my next visit, and it wasn't. So it's like, all right, I still want it. Who has it? Target does. Went more, more than one Target, finally found it. I actually bought uh, a box that was just Lucky Charms, but still had something about Space Jam on it. Uh, and then uh, also while I was there, it's like, oh, Shaquille O'Neal, he's on uh, the Frosted Flakes box, so I guess I'll buy that too because I'm a history major and I like studying uh, history. And uh, history is about the fame game, and well, you've got to be famous if you're endorsing cereal. So, uh, and then I even went to customer service to find it, and it's like, yeah, they had to hear my, uh, all my stories about why. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, unconsciously working on material whenever I talk. Uh, people. It sure feels that way. And, uh, yeah, such is my life. Welcome to my silly little life, like the Pink uh, song says. Uh, so I'm good on cereal for a while. Three family-sized boxes, and I'm a family of one. And no, I, I'm not asking anybody to come over and help me eat it. I hardly ever have visitors, and uh, well, my uh, home isn't actually uh, the nicest place for receiving visitors. Guys, and anyway, with it, whatever you will. I'm fine with uh, the way it looks, but I don't know if anybody else would be. Uh, uh, well, I like going to Walgreens regularly, and uh, I still can't believe some of the things that people say while uh, they're in side stores. It's like, uh, uh, or, or even some of the things they uh, try to pull either. Where I, I was at the checkout line, and uh, the cashier said to somebody who tried to bring in a bicycle, you can't bring that in here. And can you believe what the dude said in response to that? I don't have a lock for the bike. It's like, how is that possible? It doesn't cost that much to protect your investment by getting a lock. I mean, that sounds more like a lie on uh, how he doesn't have a bike lock. <sighs> Some people, but uh, he didn't get away with bringing in the bike. Uh, that probably is even the worst thing I've seen, but uh, recently uh, it's definitely the weirdest. Uh, well, I like going to festivals. I finally went to another one this weekend. Uh, Composia Day is in South St. Paul. And I had to explain that to was cutting my hair after I went there, where I said, well, uh, they named it after the tribe that once lived in that town. I guess you don't hear the uh, name Composia that often, so some people, uh, uninitiated, you have to explain that one. And I like going to the pancake breakfast. I mean, you buy the button and uh, you get to eat the pancakes. And it's at a car deal, and I figured, oh, I'm safe. No salesman is going to bother me on Sunday because it's their day off. Was I ever wrong? Eventually, I did see a salesman, but he eventually got the clue that uh, he was barking up the wrong tree with me because I said, there's not a price tag on the sports car. It's a Dodge dealership, it's a Challenger. And then he told me what the price was, and I said, sir, that's more than what I make a year. And then he said, oh, there's some used cars outside, and then he went on to the next person. I should have tried that a lot earlier, that you would have left me alone a lot earlier. <laughs> oh. I, I did once uh, work with somebody who became a good friend of mine that worked in sales, and she did say car salesmen are the worst. It's like, well, I have the right to turn people down. Uh, general order verbal self-defense, I guess all I can say about that. Uh. Well, I, I don't hear from uh, some of my family members that often. With, with my mom, I'm just fine with uh, getting text messages from her when uh, something big happens. In May, she said, we sold the house and we're moving. It's like, okay. And then uh, not too long ago, I got a follow-up one saying, uh, we're moving to Miami, Oklahoma, retiring. It's like, uh, that's not the Miami that people usually retire to. I saw the TV show Golden Girls. They went to Miami, Florida. Well, uh, maybe they couldn't uh, afford Miami, Florida for what they made, is all I know. I even had to ask her why Oklahoma. She said warmer in the winter. It's like, compared to Iowa, maybe, but uh, I'm sure they still get winter weather, too. Sometimes they even get it in Texas. Uh. Uh. Well, uh, work is 
still happening, and that's very nice. I like knowing that when I get calls for job offers now, especially from the agencies, I have more of the power uh, than I did before, where I'm no longer reduced to a beggar. Because I have a job now, I can easily turn them down because agency jobs suck. Uh, twice this week, it's like, I haven't applied in over a year. Why you call me now? So I said, hey, I'm happy where I'm at. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, still uh, crazy stories from uh, working at a bank. Uh, I sometimes get emails where they ask me to intercept a check. And this week I ended up uh, being asked to intercept five. And no problem, because they told me early enough I could easily pick it out with staff. Uh, five checks uh, told me about a quarter million. And when I told them, hey, I found them, uh, I'm sending them back to you. They said, you're a saint. Two people did that I've never met. It's like, oh goody, I, I like hearing that you know, you're pleased with me. And all I kept thinking was, are you going to send me points so then I can get another gift card? Because in the end, that's uh, the main way you say you're really thankful for what I did for you, saving your ass. Because I know other people have done that. For Christmas, I got a Subway gift card I haven't uh, used yet, and candies. Yeah, uh, that's a tangible way of saying thank you besides just verbalizing it in an email. Uh. Well. Yep. Uh. Well, let's see. Uh, there's got to be uh, more uh, going on in my life. And I went to a festival. Uh, there's probably uh, some more coming up. And I know that uh, I still remember one festival I uh, went to only once, and maybe it's just as well, because uh, it was. Uh, one that wasn't that close to me, and then I met a lady there that was asking weird things like, uh, is that a ring on your finger? No. And then uh, I was saying she was interested. And then we scheduled a date, and she failed to show up, and then I uh, called her and I said, you weren't there. Uh, and then she said, uh, no, you got the date wrong. And then she called me and she said I was crummy to her. It's like, oh, she's wounded, I guess, uh, thanks for the warning, I'm not going to waste my time with her. And of course, when I get stood up now, I don't bother calling people. I just figure, move on, ain't worth my time. Uh.